in this video, I'll show you how I filmed and edited this slow motion rotating product shot using one of my previous videos. Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I did a review video of the GoPro Hero 7 and this was the opening shot I used. Here's my original shot. And this is what it looks like after I applied a few effects in Final Cut Pro. Here's how I did it. First, the setup. I set up my filming camera on a tripod with a fast lens for a nice blurry background. Next, I attached a GoPro used for the shot to a mini tripod and set it on a Lazy Susan I stole from my kitchen. Any rotating platform can be used for this and I just used what I had at home. Next, I didn't want these rails in my shot, so I placed a couple of books under the GoPro. My filming options on my camera are 4K at 30 frames per second or HD at 60 frames per second. A 60 frames per second clip would be much better for slow motion, but because I knew I was going to crop my image in post, I set my camera to 4K at 30 frames per second so I have the extra resolution. There's a trick you can use in Final Cut Pro to smooth out slow motion, I'll show you later on in this video. Next, I press record and slowly spun the Lazy Susan. To edit this clip, I only need a half of a revolution, so I'll skim my clip and pick the part with the most consistent speed. I'll set the endpoint when the camera is completely sideways, skim to where the camera is turned 180 degrees and set my out point. This will be the only part of the clip I need. Next, I'll use a transform tool to straighten and reframe my clip. And to help me line everything up, I use power guides from bradfx.com. I'll link this plugin in the description. I also want to add a fake dolly effect, and since my clip was filmed in 4K, I have the extra resolution to work with. I'll place my playhead at the start of my clip and reposition my image so the GoPro is on the right side of my frame and add a keyframe here. Next, I'll move my playhead until a GoPro is facing me straight on and center the camera in my clip. If you hold down the shift key while dragging, your clip will move in a perfectly straight line. And last, I'll move the playhead to the end of the clip and move my clip so the camera is on the left side of the frame, using the grid to keep everything symmetrical. If I play the clip back, right in the middle, the camera slows down just a little bit. To fix this in the viewer, you have to right click on each keyframe and select linear instead of smooth. Before I slow my clip down, I want to add a freeze frame at the end of my clip. So with my playhead over the last frame, I'll press Option F to add a freeze frame. My next step is to slow the clip down. I'll set my playhead at the start of my clip and move 10 frames ahead. Now I'll add a speed ramp here by pressing Shift B and another one 10 frames before the end of the clip. I'll leave the start of my clip and the last 10 frames at normal speed and slow down the middle part to about 30%. Now, because the original clip was filmed at only 30 frames per second, when slowed down to 30%, the clip looks a little bit jumpy. Final Cut Pro can help smooth this out with optical flow. With my clip selected, from the speed drop-down menu, I'll select Video Quality and Optical Flow. I'll let the clip render out and play it back. Much smoother. The next thing I'll do is add this flashing effect at the start, in the middle, and at the end of my clip. To get a couple nice flashes, you need about 20 frames. So I'll set my playhead 20 frames from the start of my clip, and press Command B to blade it. I'll do the same at the end. And for the middle, I'll set my playhead on the middle keyframe, and blade my clip 10 frames before, and 10 frames after the keyframe. This makes my middle clip also 20 frames long. Next, in the Effects Browser, I'll type in Flash in the search bar and add the Flash in effect to my Start, Middle, and End clips. And to bring this all together, I found a break new soundbite on Epidemic Sound that I'll add to my clip. There's one final music swell right at the end of the soundbite, so that will be a perfect time to punch in on my shot. I'll set my playhead about 10 frames into my Freeze Frame clip, hit the Transform button, and add a keyframe. Next, I'll move my playhead to the peak of the sound swell and reframe my clip so the product is right in the middle of my shot. 
All that's left to do is remove the grid lines and there you have it. A few simple effects, some slow motion, a few keyframes and the right music and I turn my clip from this to this. Just takes a little bit of playing around and some trial and error. If you like this video, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos uploaded weekly, so hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.